Hey, it's Ken Gagne with YouTube channel GameBits, and I'm on a mission to combine this with this. And I'm told that what I got in the mail from Amazon will let me do it. So let's see what's in the box. Yeah, we got a couple of goodies here. Let's see, the first is a Rode <laughs> lavalier mic. Not relevant to this video. Fun to play with later though. And then the other, we have an Xbox 360 wireless adapter. Advertised as being for the PC. Should work on my Mac as well though, to allow me to con connect my wireless controller to my MacBook Pro so I can play computer games using an Xbox controller. So various manuals and the like here and warning sheets, etc. cetera. Uh, a CD here. I suspect this is drivers for Windows. It probably isn't gonna do me much good on the Mac, but I will walk you through installing the appropriate Mac drivers. It does say right here, Windows software. So I was correct in that assumption. And here is the dongle. It is, wow, rather lengthy. I really don't need it to be quite so long. That's USB right there. And there is the transceiver with a button on it. So that would plug right into any USB port on my computer. Just like that. But now let's walk through the actual software installation and make sure the thing works. So as mentioned, that CD was for Windows only, and I don't even have a CD drive on this MacBook Pro. So I have gone to teddyboggle.net to download the Mac version of these drivers. These are not official, but they should work. Even though it hasn't been updated in a while, it says it's good for Snow Leopard, but I'm running Mavericks on here, 10.9.4. So I've already downloaded the file. Got it pulled up right here. So let's go ahead and install it. Copyright 2013. Okay, so maybe it's not that old. That's just last year. More than a year ago, April of 2013. It's July of 2014 right now. Let's find out how this works. The driver will recommend you restart. If you do not, the driver will only be usable if the controller is already connected or connected within a minute after the installer completes. Huh. So I should probably reboot after this. Less than a meg of space necessary. Yes. Maybe should I just start shutting down some stuff now? There. Okay, let's go ahead and restart. I just finished rebooting the system and the driver is now installed. As you can see by going to System Preferences and then Xbox 360 Controllers. It says no device found. Let me see if I can fix that. The light on the dongle is lit up. I'm gonna push the sync button on there and then the sync button on my controller. It is searching, and after pressing the button again on the dongle, everything is blinking. I assume they're talking to each other. And I push sync on the controller one more time. Well, the dongle finished blinking, but the controller is still blinking. Ah, there we go. They are now connected. I'm not exactly sure what sequence I pushed that in to make it work, but it worked. Maybe I should have RTFM'd. Anyway, so I'm pushing up on the left stick, down, left, right, up, down, left, right. This all looks great. I can push the buttons, back, start, guide button, triggers, bumpers, it all works. Alrighty, so let's try a quick game of Breaker's Yard, which is a twin stick shooter. I'll be doing more video about this later. I had a high score on this recently. Okay, quite the blog here, but let's just uh, play latest build. Unity, and there we go. Choose a character, left stick, right stick. Press enter or A to start. I just pushed A on my controller and booted the game right up. And I am now twin stick shooting my way through Breaker's Yard. Excellent, so the controller works perfectly. Now one note I will make is that if you want a little bit finer control over your controller, you can also go to the Mac App Store and download Joystick Mapper for $5. I have not tried this, but it does let you change where the different buttons are assigned. So check it out. This dongle does work great on Mac if you want to play computer games with your Xbox 360 joystick. 
There is a link in the video description to find the Xbox 360 wireless gaming receiver for Windows, which as I just demonstrated works on Mac. This is exactly the one that I bought brand new via Amazon Prime, and it works great. So thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Leave a comment.